This is an explanation of the literature review. So while this assignment is going to be submitted as a group, um, ultimately each person is going to write their own sections and each person is going to find their own research articles. The one goal of submitting it together um, is that you do not duplicate your resources and that everyone finds their own. Um, and then that you kind of see how everything can tie together between all of the research that every group member found. So the introduction of the paper is ideally written as a group as well as the conclusion at the end. So I would probably wait to do the introduction and the conclusion until everyone has found their research. But ultimately, just a a singular paragraph is fine for the intro and you're going to have to look at what everyone is going to bring up in their papers because at the very end of the intro you're going to have a nice cohesive thesis statement that serves as the roadmap for the rest of your paper. So keep that in mind if you've taken NTR 290 think about the skills that you learned in that class as you move forward. So then you get into the background information. So every individual group member is going to find three research articles that speak to the nutrition concerns in your population. So everyone is looking at college students. Um, we're considering food insecurity, why food insecurity exists in the first place, any health concerns that might arise with anyone experiencing food insecurity, um, and anything else really that came up during your, um, your needs assessment during the previous group assignment, the community and needs assessment. So you may not find a ton of research specifically about statistics in, about food insecurity in college students, so you can expand beyond that to the general population if you need to. All the articles that each group member finds needs to be primary peer-reviewed research articles. So we'll go into PubMed and show you how to do that. We want information from the United States, not global. The issues around food insecurity look very different in the United States than they do abroad. So we want to focus within the United States and again, remember with um, this section, it's all observational studies. They're not doing anything experimental to solve the problem. So no interventions in this section, just like this is associated with this. Remember that association typically indicates that it's an observational study, that it's not experimental. So that's what we want in this study. So you'll explain each of the articles that you find, each group member will, in a nice cohesive paragraph. So you'll have article one paragraph, next paragraph, article two, nice um, transitions between each paragraph, tying everything together, describe the article in detail, describe the findings, and describe ultimately how it connects to the population. Throughout all of this, we're avoiding any personal pronouns. So no, I, me, you, we, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go, now we'll go into Chrome at the end to show you how to look for that. The next section is the previous interventions. So after you find your background research, then you're gonna find three interventions that seek to solve the problem that you just introduced in the first section. So consider if you talked about food insecurity in the last section, then in this section, you're going to find what other universities have done to work on food insecurity. So have they formed a food bank? How did they do it? Um, are they doing other interventions? Are they doing cooking classes? Are they doing other like food recovery type initiatives? So just consider all the different ways that um, colleges are helping either to give students more skills in the area of food and cooking and things like that. So again, these are all primary, these are not secondary. So remember that secondary are all of your review articles. So we do not want reviews, we do not want 
meta-analyses. We do not want systematic reviews. We don't want narrative reviews. We want singular primary research articles, meaning that they're only describing one study. They're not describing 10 different studies. <clears throat> So these are all of your interventions. Um, in this section, you might find that there's some cool stuff being done <clears throat> across the United States, so you can speak to that um, as long as you think it would be applicable within our population. So again, you're going to summarize each article, paragraph, 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 described what worked, what didn't work, just do a nice cohesive, tie everything together within your particular three studies. After everyone has found their articles, and I would say do this as a Google Doc, because then everyone can note like the articles that they're finding, so then that there's no duplication with people moving forward. Um, then your conclusion is going to look through everyone's research and decide really what you want to move forward with. So. If you found that doing a food pantry was most successful, then what could that look like? Because your future projects are going to be designing a nutrition education project, which um, in my head right now is everyone doing like a cooking video. But if you think that anything else would be helpful in terms of video content, we can consider that. And then you'll also design a big final intervention project. So. Note that we already have the pantry on campus, but if there's something else that would be more successful and maybe more supported by the higher ups at ASU, then we could consider that as well. So that's kind of tying it all together at the very end. So I would wait to do that till everyone's done. All right, so for formatting, you'll have your subheadings throughout. So each person is going to have a background information section and a previous intervention section. And I'll show you how that could look below. Um, 12 point font, Times New Roman, double spacing, one inch margins. Your reference page can be single spaced. I already said no personal pronouns. So even when I ask you about what, how that relates back to your population, you still need to state it without using personal pronouns. <clears throat> no direct quotes, so put everything in your own words, but still cite the article throughout. Um, and all of your articles must be from the past 10 years. So we'll work on using that within PubMed. So bolded subtitles throughout, so you'll have your title at the top, all group member names, so you can have a title page. I don't think I put that, so that's okay, either way. Um, then you'll have your introductory paragraph. Then you'll get into each group member's paragraph. So I'm gonna have a heading that says Maureen's background information. Then I'll have paragraph, 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 all of them nicely tying together. Then I'll have my previous intervention section, paragraph, paragraph, paragraph. And then it'll go into my next group member, so Bob and Gary and Kathy will all do the same with different articles. Then we'll have our conclusion. Then at the end on the reference page, that's everyone's references. So since I'm the first person that's going, I would probably have sources one through six, then the next group member would have seven through 12. And so they go in chronological order throughout the paper. And then just put each group member's names before the citations because everyone will ultimately be graded individually on their citations. Um, we will be doing AMA style for the citations. So note that in AMA style, um, the biggest thing that usually people err on is the location of the publication year. So note that the journal title is italicized, then the publication year goes after the journal. It does not go after the author's names. Then you have the volume, then you have the page numbers. Then since you're accessing these articles um, electronically, you'll typically have the DOI address here as well. 
So again, each group member must have at least six peer-reviewed journal articles. Those are all primary. Um, if you cite a website, that could be your seventh reference. No duplication among group members. And then if there is duplication, um, that group member would lose points. So if you are late to the party, <laughs> meaning that you find your articles late, um, I'm only going to take points off of that person who submitted theirs after the other one because it's not really fair to the person who found the resource in the first place. Um, and then just review the uh, grading rubric here. So we're looking at content, we're looking at organization and some nice transitions. Looking at grammar, no personal pronouns, um, and then your citations at the end. So again, ultimately you're graded individually on your references and what you're covering throughout, but then the group is kind of still graded as a group on the intro and the conclusion. So let's look quickly at, we'll have a separate video on the PubMed searching. So let's X out of that. So please email me with any questions on this assignment.